Hello guys. I've tried to make this video three times already. Uh, <laughs> um, so I haven't uploaded in two weeks and there's a certain reason for that and I will tell you that right now. Um, one reason, like the reason that I haven't uploaded is because I've been trying to distance myself from, sorry my camera is like, I'm trying to distance myself from electronics I guess. I've been shutting off my phone every day. I've been like just, I haven't gotten on the computer or anything. I just, it just hasn't been helping my mood. So when I turn it off, it helps my mood quite a bit because I don't have to deal with the people that I don't want to talk to. And yeah, so there's that. Um, so I haven't done that. And I made a video last week, the challenge week, but when I tried to upload it, it completely just wiped that video off my computer. So I couldn't upload it and I don't want to be sick again and I don't want to stay home sick again this week. Yeah, it was that bad. Just, no, don't do it. <laughs> don't do the Sprite, Sprite Banana Challenge. Oh, um, if I stutter during this video, I'm sorry. Um, I have a speech impediment, so it's kind of hard for me to get certain words out in one sentence. Um, so, yeah. So there's that. Um, I just messed up my hair. Um, so, what I'm If this is, um, I'm stuttering again, I'm sorry. This week's topic is problems you face when you're an FTM. And I have a fairly short list, but I know I'm going to rant during, a little bit during the list. So I made it shorter because of that. Um, so my first thing on my list is my voice. And I know Alex said it in his video about his voice and like how he feels that it's higher. Um, I personally think my voice is really high and very feminine. I think it is always so held out of most people. I think it's very annoying. Um, and it gets worse when I'm around my friends. My voice will go up for some reason, like up an octave, and it'll be like really high and feminine, like even worse than it usually is. And I don't know why it does that, but it makes it harder for me to pass, especially when I'm around my friends or the friends that I know that know that the friends that I'm out to. Yeah. Um yeah, so it's kinda hard for me. Um my I think I was I I started to sorry. Um yeah, but, um, yeah, so my voice is a big problem for me because it's really hard for me to pass when I'm talking, I guess. Um, like, if I don't, if I don't talk, I pass quite well. I know that sounds weird, but, like, if I don't talk and I walk through a store or something, like, I pass as a guy, like, everybody thinks I'm a guy, I go into the guy's section, they don't care. As soon as I'm, like, with my dad, and I'm in the guy's section, he'll be, like, screaming my birth name around, and then, and then I try and talk to him, and everyone's like, oh, it really is a girl, because of my voice, and it bugs the hell out of me. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop ranting now. Um... Number two on my list was, like, a problem for me is know how to act, knowing how to act around certain people, like who I'm out to and who I'm not out to, and knowing. Um, right now I'm only out to, like, one or two people that are at my school.
school. Um, one person is one of my good friends, Megan, and she found out by me having like almost a mental breakdown. It wasn't it wasn't a mental breakdown. It was an anxiety attack where I got so pissed, like I just got so overwhelmed with emotions that I punched a locker so hard it fractured my knuckle and um like then I broke down into tears and just like curled up in a ball in the corner. And she was the friend that I, that came over and just sat there and gave me a hug and told me everything's going to be fine and then just sat there and just listened to me talk to her about everything that was on my mind that day. And it helped a lot and she, that's how she found out about me being trans was um, by me just talking at her. And she's completely fine with it except for the fact that she calls me by my third day, third grade. I'm sorry. My third grade nickname, which is my birth name. Nickname off my birth name, which is Rissy. She calls me that and she screams it down the hallways. It's not helping with me trying to change my name at the school. So, um, that happens, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and then there's people, like, around her, I can act quite masculine, like, she doesn't care, she's like, oh yeah, this is him, like, she will use pronouns if I ask her to, like, if I'm, uh, if we're, like, at the park or something, and we're, like, talking to some of my friends, she'll use female pronouns, because I don't want to be out right now, but if, I'm around total strangers that we're talking to, like, at a store or something, she'll use masculine pronouns, like, she's really good at it right now, and it helps quite a lot, um, with how I feel, so I hang out with her quite a bit, um, the other person who knows that I can act normal around is my mother, which I don't get to see a lot because of her mental status right now, but she's one of the only people who know, and she doesn't care, she just, the one thing she said to me was, um, before you, like, completely know, because I'm young, you know, um, she's like, before you know completely, don't completely commit into it, like, don't, like, go so far that you can't always come back, is what she's saying, so, She's supportive of it, she just doesn't want me to make a mistake, I guess. Um, so there's that, um, so yeah, um, and then my last thing on the list was therapist. A big problem with mine is finding the right therapist because I have, I don't have one at the moment. So it's hard for me to talk about my feelings and it's hard for me to trust. And that's why it's so hard for me to find a therapist is because of what's happened in my past with mine. Um, I've had trust issues because my therapist that I had for six years, like that I had told everything to for six years, just, she died of cancer um, one year. And just, I had to start over with a new one and I couldn't do it. I couldn't trust her the same because I think mentally, I think that if I start trusting someone like that again, that I'll lose them like that, um, I guess. So it's hard for me to find a therapist so I can talk about things. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's a big problem, I'm finding and trusting people and just finding people I can talk to about trans stuff is another big problem because there's not, it's our media center where I live isn't the most LGBT friendly. There's a lot of Christians, a lot of Mormons, just a lot of religions around where I am and there's not many LGBT people, especially like 
at my school that I know that are out. There is one lesbian, me, I'm not really completely out, but you know, like they think I'm a lesbian. They just assume. Don't assume, guys. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, and my friend Chris and my friend Elijah. There's four people, GSA, I think, that I know of right now um, that are out. And that's it. That's that. That's all, that's all I know. Um, at my school, but not in my town. My town has four big high schools, so there's another big high school, and I know that has a big GSA group because my girlfriend runs that that GSA. So that's all I know. But I know my school is quite small in GSA stuff like that. So it's hard for me to go find people that are like me or like, yeah, you know what I mean, I'm ranting again, I'm sorry. Um, so there's that. Um, I hope everybody else's videos are more structured than mine is. Mine is kind of thrown together um, because I'm having technical difficulties all the time. So um, hopefully that's it. I will see you guys next week. Um, hopefully the rest of guys' videos will be better than mine. So, yeah, that's it, I guess. Um, I'm going to be posting a video on my channel since I haven't done one in like two weeks now. Except for my Rachel video that I made for my girlfriend. And so, yeah, um... That's about it, guys. So...